it is possible for us to use these promises in in different ways but let's let's say that we have uh, this example here that we would like to to perform another uh, when we click this event we want to perform a new request to the server so let's just make this look a little bit different um, for example I would like to send something to the server for example a parameter so I will here ask if uh, is set the uh, dollar underscore get if there's sent something in the get request for example um, it will be let's just call it param if param has been sent then we would like to um, make return differently we would like to make it the same as we uh, we sent in the param just for testing purposes uh, we need to have this equal sign here so um, if we do not send anything we will just get hello world if we send something we will get what we have sent back again so let's go back to our script and here let's say now okay we have clicked then we'd like to retrieve some more data get json server.php and send the param equals good by world and when we sorry when we get some response to that we would like to output it just in the console like this let's have a look how it works now we have our link and we click i have been clicked goodbye world because we sent this parameter or this value in the parameter so we this one here is executed and we can delete this and now it it works but as you can see if we would perhaps get some data here that would again need to have um, a click event or something like that then we will have some new problems for example we can make new let's say uh, equals data and here instead of this console response we would like to say that okay um, these data dot html equals um, new link with um, nothing here an id equals new link and then i would like to add response to this link so now we have goodbye world here and assuming that we would like to have a new click event for this one um, yeah you can see how it goes it will say okay when you promise that you are done then blah 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 this is not good as you can see we will have this um, callback spaghetti so what can we do in order to prevent us from having this spaghetti um, usually we'll do um, perhaps something like this that we will instead of calling this uh, or do the call this way we could for example here say that make a variable and this is our request and request would be this get json that's it nothing else then we are able to say okay when requests is um, is done oh, sorry then we would like to run this function and this function would be this data um, let's have a look just try it out see if it works so request is assigned 
that we have a variable which will be uh, which will hold the promise actually instead of running this or calling this uh, function here promise we can here make uh, a variable for the promise and then we can say okay when the request is done then we'd like to perform this uh, and make a link and um, yeah we can just add three dots so we can see it is a new link as you can see now we have three dots so it works we make a new link for that so instead of um, when we are when we are done with that we are able actually to do something else instead of um, we want to attach this uh, click event so instead of uh, have this promise done again then we can say then then we would like to do this and this function would be then attaching the click event so in here we can just copy this so okay then attach the click event and it can be done more elegantly but let's just for purpose of the example have it like this that we can now console log that click has been done have a look click here it works and then perhaps we would like to do something when this one has been clicked we would like to perform a new request so in order to um, uh, not go into this uh, spaghetti code again we can uh, for example make a new variable here and this would be for my request with param and uh, it will equal uh, an anonymous function which will hold nothing except for this get json request we had before so now it's wrapped into this uh, variable so we can call this variable with two parentheses when we want to have this uh, run this parameter or this uh, request with parameter so here we can say that okay when you are done with this uh, showing what you have done then we could say request with param so we can delete this a bit more um, understandable code because we use done and when instead of promise done promise done and then uh, stepping into this uh, hierarchy all the time so let's save it and then um, go and have a look it should look like what we had before it is possible for us to attach these uh, events uh, in a different way so let's say now we have this um, this uh, element uh, put to the to down and uh, then we would like to right here say that new link dot on click do this function and stop preventing default from happening and then console lock new link so we don't need to like here wait and uh, and then make a new one we can make it inside the callback function as well so let's have a look click this and click this new link has been clicked and if we want to make it more readable if we have large callback functions we can do something like this a new link click equals function e and then we take this part and has been clicked just to separate it and then instead of this anonymous function here we can just add new link click again without parentheses so uh, let's have a look see if it works 
for the world by a new life alien has been clicked so this is a way to to prevent this hierarchy from happening as we can see here this is also possible to just add these lines here um, to the uh, to this up here uh, in the callback um, but um, yeah it it depends on the, the complexity and the structure you like to have um, I like to have something like this when we have large callback functions I like to split some of these into um, new functions so there was a, there was a bit about um, how to use promises in uh, in um, in jQuery, and um, actually, I will just uh, add something to this uh, uh, to the previous video that it is possible to like here say oh, promise and then done as you saw before, but. This can be made with only a then. So then function and then console log testing testing. So let's see. It has been clicked and when it has been clicked, we would like to uh, or when the callback is done, then we like to um, to see that testing testing is shown. So when we have this uh, link with uh, goodbye world shown, we should be able to see testing, testing. So here, click goodbye world, testing, testing. And then if we click this one, we get new link has been clicked. Then this one will be executed after this has been executed because this only waits for this to happen. So you can, short down the uh, the promise and done to just then